Good morning, everyone. Take the next left onto Bracker Road. Welcome to the chaos that is garage sailing. <laughs> Morning. Good morning. Oh dear. <clears throat> oh, you have the whole box of $20. What's that? You have the whole box of $20. All the liquidity. Hmm. I'll do that. I'm sick of that. <laughs> I'll offer $20. Okay, I'll do that. There's a good, some good ones there. <laughs> that makes it easy. Yeah, I just... Rather than sit there picking them out. So you want to hold on? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Look, <laughs> I'm just going to get rid of everything. I'm just tired. <laughs> tired and I'm going to say, should you get a good bargain out of them? There's some good ones there. Especially Duck Dynasty and a few of them other ones. Books are all a dollar now. Down. Some of those books are $25. Mm. I can't believe it. This lady bought them around. She said, I've got a few books to sell. <laughs> she said, I'll put two dollars. I said, no, I'm putting a dollar. This is good. I'm going to sell the whole lot. Do you want the whole lot for 25 bucks? I'm not going to do that. I'm trying to get rid of everything, aren't I? Yes. It was like, <laughs> cost me $290. Mm. My grandson was selling it for 45. Yeah, when people say, oh, but I paid this much for it, it's like, that's redundant. I'm yeah. sorry, but that's. Yeah. that's and uh... His weights and that, that cost me a fortune. But mm. um, he, I, 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 I'm not going to put the prices that they want. They're all just... This is for a lot. Okay, I'll take all these. Take please. all of them. Oh, there it is. Yeah, what was on his? Uh, $2, $2 uh, for the... Oh, it, was on, <laughs> it was written on... There we go. $2 a lot. He's got his things there. Yeah, so... I just want to get it on. Oh, yeah, when it's... Oh, someone wants to lot them up like that, I don't mind at all. Yeah, I was I meant to be here at 7, but I didn't set my alarm yeah, correctly. No, I saw <laughs> a few of them, and then I thought... Um, yeah, the lady bought them here for lockdown. She coloured one picture. <laughs> There's about thirty dollars worth of books there. Yeah, I find them in the op shops like that. But yeah, the person just did one, and then yeah. they. She paid sixteen dollars for this one. Yeah. Mm, geez. That, I think these, this would be anybody's collectors of them because they've never been opened. Oh, okay. So the whole lot, none of them have ever been. been mm. opened. So it'd be a collector. Hang on, which way does it go? That way. No, nope, that's not the way it goes. <laughs> I think that might be all for me today, but I know it's still. Oh, we've got down here. I might grab these too. I always. Yeah, my wife and I, we also make it a. When we go to the markets and all that and garage sales, we always try to. That's what you can make, but sell together. I don't know, like, we, we mostly buy at the, the markets and all that, but we always buy off people because. Like you want to encourage people to, yeah. you know, people having a go. Like we we have a garage sale in our place. We're five minutes out of town, yeah. and we'll get three people the whole day. Yeah. And it's like, it's we'll have so much stuff and all that, yeah. and then people will just, you know, come and look. And it's like there's so much little things and all. It's like buy something just for a dollar, even yeah. if you don't really need it. Yeah. But what's well, this guy here? That's cool. I don't know. What, it's got all these old. Um, I don't know whether they're old or they're not. And she just bought them over and it's there's accessories and yeah, stuff. Uh, five dollars? Yeah, I like it. It's got the, the old box. box. Would yeah. that be cheaper for five dollars with all the bits and pieces? That'd be alright. That wouldn't be too dear. Yeah, I'll take a gamble for that. Five I think I've got a 50 in my wallet two. still. Yeah, just the box to me, I reckon. Yeah. Someone, it's, as I am, I do buy and sell on eBay, yeah. like I'm getting oh, back well, into I'll that slowly. So, um, um, yeah, it's always worth a gamble just for the box. Oh, it is. I don't know. So I've got so many American friends who they, um, like they buy and sell and they'll, like one of them, he's sold a lot of doll clothes Yeah. and people sort of, you know, make, and, and makeup as well. He'll yeah. buy at op shops and all that makeup and all that. And people sort of make fun of him and all that, but it's stuff, stuff that people might normally overlook or think, oh, well, I don't want to look at them because it's doll clothes, but yeah. he makes a fortune on the yeah, vintage doll clothes. Cool, if yeah, the price is right, it's always worth a gamble. Yeah, like, um, there's, like there's little bits and pieces and books, little books. Oh, for sure. You know, so it'd be mm. worth the five bucks. So. Oh, that's like because for me, like I collect transformers and things like that. Oh yeah. That yeah, you know, back in the day, you rip open the box, toss yeah, the box, yeah, and all that. So there might be someone who's got one of these yeah. pool parties yeah. there that doesn't yeah, have the box. Bought transformers. My son's forty-two. 
There are four Transformers I bought him when he was five, but they're still in their box. Oh. Uh, so there's one Sounds like there. you raised him right, dude. Yes, yep. Yeah, I'm 43 and I sold all of mine when I was 18 and now yes. I'm trying to get them back. Well, I hope you can get some, even if you want to sell some of them on Facebook. But or... I bought some really nice ones when I was, um, we were in Japan oh. and I found like an Optimus Prime still in his box for like $30 and it was like, so I'm slowly getting them back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, thanks for that. Oh, Hopefully I helped a little bit. Yeah, that's <laughs> done. Yes, oh. Left I have to send back. <laughs> That's what I want to do. Garage sounds like that. Just get a whole and all the stuff. Okay, I'm back from Warwick, and I thought I'd show you. But you just saw the first clip, which would have been the first garage sale of the day, where I picked up this box of DVDs and a few other things. I think it was 25 or 20, I can't remember. Like, I have to look back at the footage and I think whether there was one other thing I got or whatever. But yeah, this whole box of DVDs, I think it was 20 or 25. I can't remember. King and Peel, Trailer Park Boys, Complete First and Second, Two Broke Girls. I think it was 20 bucks for this. Princess Bride Sealed. Duck Dynasty Season 2, Touched by an Angel, I just started looking through this and I'm sure it's in the footage, she um, said, oh, just grab whatever, like, just grab it all for whatever price, so I was like, sure, I'll, I'll, you know, pretty sure it's 20, so there must be something I'm missing that I can't find, drawn together. Little Britain, these are spiked at the moment because of you know, black face. Little Britain alive. Orange is the new black. Yeah, that's they'll have some value on eBay. I don't even know what that is. I am not an animal. Team America World Police. American Guns. Swift and Shift Couriers. Hmm, SBS show. Andre Real. <laughs> See if I can get to just low oh, and I'll get to see the top and then I'll put it all back. Crusty Demons, that could be something worth a little bit. Shameless sixth season, that's good. Wild Dogs, Mother Touched by an Angel. I think there must be just single episodes in them. Um, Okay, I think we've cleared off so Alfred Hitchcock, Bridget Jones, Angry Kid, Chili Dog, there's a lot of a lot of junk in here. I might do a episode uh, might do a DVD lot up locally of just the junk. Especially I've got so much of bloody glee. Um from South Park, I bought some more that you'll see later today. So I might be able to start making a whole set of those. Full House, the complete fourth season, 70s show, Family Guy, a few other set. Breaking Bads, Grounded for Life, yeah, Winners and Losers. So, yep, yeah, whole bunch of stuff. So, I think well worth it for the $20. I should be able to have a few winners there, even if I um, did CEX. I should be, able, should be all right. And the other thing I got from there was... This thing here, I've got a couple of these the Ushis that can be collected at Coles in Australia. A couple of boxes of those for a dollar each are always worth grabbing. I'm going to do some lots up online. And Barbie's Pool Party. So this is an original box from... Oh, all the stuff's coming out. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, 1973. So Bobby's going to be very happy with this. That I've got myself some dolls. There's money in them dolls. Here's a whole little... See the catalogs and all that. Hopefully there's some value in them too. But, you know, stuff's going everywhere. Some clothes. A mirror. Some sort of jacket. 
Oh, looks like a lot of homemade clothes. One doll, a weird looking troll doll. A head, living Barbie and living Skipper. Enjoy the new, see that there, that's, uh, what's the date? Probably right in picture, but I can't see because it's not focusing. I remember seeing a date on it earlier. Uh, I'll have to look it up again. Another catalogue. Another catalogue. Jennifer. Jennifer. Okay. And a whole bunch of random stuff. But that was all... I had to look back at the footage, but I think like $25. I've got no idea if these are... These don't look like they're much at all, but who knows? I could be wrong. Well, good morning, everyone. Take the next left onto Bracker Road. Welcome to the chaos that is garage sailing. <laughs> I just put a, road for a I just put a box of DVDs that I just picked up at the first garage sale here in Warwick in the back of the car and it's now every corner it's just I can hear more and more that's sliding all over the place back there so um, yeah I'm in Warwick today there was three garage sales I set my alarm but I didn't set the day for my alarm so I got up about 20 minutes late which for a five hour sleep I thought was pretty good that I didn't, you know, I knew I had to get up. So I just hit up the first garage sale at about what, 20 minutes, 7.20. Uh, one that... Meters at the roundabout, take the first exit onto McAvoy Street. Thanks, lady. Um, yeah, apparently some other people had got there first and picked out some of the DVDs. And then um, in the footage just then, you'll see that the lady offered me the rest of them. They're a dollar each. And she said, would you take a lot for $20? And yeah, I could cherry pick out 10 for $10 and all that, but if I can get 30 to 40 for that price to knock down my you know, purchase price for each one, I'll take that every day. So I picked up Exit a the lot of DVDs, an old vintage box for a Barbie Continue pool with some Barbie clothes and all that in it, so Bobby would be happy. Uh, some Star Wars books and some more Ushis from the old series that I can eventually I'm going to lot them together but it's 7.42 right now the big one opens at 8 so I'm going to try and hit up this other one that opens at, opened at 7 first and then try to be at open for the other one and then from there I'll hit the phone and I'll see what else is on Facebook Marketplace and if there's any others because there's three advertised which are, there was one in Stanthorpe which I'll, I'll put the picture up I'm pretty sure I saved it but yeah, someone posted, you know, they got a garage sale and all that, and literally it's 10 things on a table. It's like, you are kidding, right? That's not, that's not reason enough to have a garage sale if you've got 10 things to get rid of. Like, go to the markets, do it at the markets, or put it in a charity bin, people. But yeah, first of the day, $29 spent. So hopefully this one will be good too. But I saw in that one, I saw the advertising they had a whole bunch of DVDs and books and all that, so I knew there was half a chance going in of some good stuff, or at least you know, some okay stuff, and it yeah, paid off. Okay, on to the second one. Gotta be quick to get to the last one that's the big one. Ironically, these are the people that bought Carmen's car. Probably pretty switched on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, that's how I was brought up. Yeah. The only thing you know, mum used to, or dad used to grab yeah. three quarters of it in the bank, and yeah. you're only allowed to spend a quarter. Uh, Alright. Uh, there's a little hey. hole there in the gate. And there's a I was hoping I'd see a Mazda 3 parked here. And then I just raked it up. Uh, you guys bought it off this my is wife. Oh. <laughs> is it going good? Oh no! Recently? Yeah, because we um, were at Bit Red Rooster one day, and we saw we didn't see the number plates, but we saw a a car there, and it had um, the bull the tow bar. Yeah. So I'm like, that's got to be. It. We couldn't oh, okay. see it, but we're like, that, we like that's. Yeah. We're like, oh, that's got to be it. Yeah, so, well, um, oh, that's a shame. <laughs> 
but it was still drivable. She was just saving up money. Oh, that's how I wrote off my Pulsar was yeah. three kangaroo hits in about a month. We hadn't taken it to the insurance, but she could still drive it. And um, oh. just she was saving up the money to get it fixed. And then um, she was taking a friend home out Kalani way yeah. and on a wet road in the rain. And she's um, going oh. a little bit fast around the bend. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> At least she admitted that. It was, I was going a little bit fast. Yeah. And, um, yeah, <laughs> Not one of those where it's like, I don't know what I... It's well, like, yeah. Because of the Mazdas have the oil filter right at the front. Oh, so... And as she's run off the road, it's hit a ditch and then um, it's ripped the oil filter off. And then when... Oh, so yeah, the missus hit a kangaroo at one stage. It was a very minor hit, but it was enough just to to shift everything so then yeah at that time that was luckily with insurance that was an, an expensive fix for the insurance agency yeah. but yeah um, <laughs> well that's what they said it will cost more than that. oh okay they gave us seven for them. Oh, okay oh, that's <laughs> well because of coronavirus he said oh they're worth says it's their, they average between <laughs> four and five and a half so you're saying i should have just got the missus to go around the corner too fast yeah. and yeah well um, <laughs> Okay, that's awesome. How much are on the books? 50 cents each. Okay. I'll have a look through it. Like these. At least it's, it's a, a negative and then a positive story. So that's, yeah. so I can tell the missus, I can say, okay, I've got two. <laughs> as soon as I saw the address next to the railway line, I was like, wait a sec, I think... It, I think I know who that will be. I haven't seen them before. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think I'm done.
ready to go. Are you ready to go, bro? <coughs> My goodness me. <laughs> Oh, That'll be the easiest way, and you can go through it all. <laughs> Hopefully, at the end, you'll need less boxes. That's always the aim, isn't it? It is. It's amazing, like, we'll do markets and you'll pack it all back in, and then it'll be like just as much in the car at the end. I know. Like... Oh, this is good. This is good. You'll love this. Mm. It's good to find one that actually might fit me. It will. It it's, a, will. <laughs> it's a rarity. My, my team's playing AFL today. Yeah, I've got, got a friend in WA that's a big Richmond supporter, so yeah, he was oh, going. Oh, a, I'm a St Kilda supporter. <laughs> he, 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 was, he was going a bit crazy last night. And my son's St uh, Richmond, and my whole family's Richmond, and it's between Richmond and St Kilda. <laughs> okay, that's four dollars. I don't know how much he wants for that one. Can you say? Oh, there's nothing on over okay. there. So. They've got the 15 DVDs. Yep. And we'll transfer them over. Do you want to count them all? <laughs> there's your the coat hanging off. Put that on the bin here. You pay $40 altogether? Um. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Pretty cool. Sounds pretty fair. And here are the three PlayStation 3 controllers, which I was very happy with. I was a bit worried they were very dirty and all that. First one, charging, it works. Second one, charging, works. Woohoo! Third one, sadly, you plug it in, it works, but doesn't hold. So it must, could just be a battery. I could look at changing that. I have opened these before. But yeah, $40 for everything I've got, including a bunch of cool games and all that. So to get two working controllers, that's an instant $60 trade in for me right there. So very happy. $40 box. There's, I think three or four PlayStation 2 controllers and a couple of PlayStation 3 controllers, which I'm taking the gamble on because apparently a lot of stuff got wet. Anyone who knows, like that right there, that $40, that gets me my money back nearly. <laughs> $45 game. A little bit damaged like everything else there, but there she is, Super Mario Brothers too. So that there pays for everything. Okay, third guard sale done in Warwick. Uh, I, don't, I, I thought I was recording at one stage and then I went to turn it off and it was off so I don't know how much I got but I bought the original bundle was $40 and then I realised I didn't have a good look through those PlayStation 3 games so I went back through and Metal Gear Rising um, it comped out pretty well even just as a trade and it pays for the other three I got with it so it was like a very very water damaged Quidditch game for Xbox but saves me buying it for X amount um yeah, like some play, PlayStation 3 controllers, PlayStation 2 controllers, and apparently there's another one at the church or something in town. So I'll head to there, and then I'll get to the op shops, and then maybe I might get back to Stanthorpe in time to look at the um, the local ones, which weren't very promising, but like someone says, you've got to be the first one there, but sometimes it's a benefit to be the last one there. Because that's when they're like... Either if they haven't sold anything or haven't sold much then they start reducing their prices or they just want to get rid of the stuff and that's the thing too like it's always worth like like people say yeah you've got to be you've got to be there early got to be there early but like in the US and all that if you're going to push this up a little bit now if you're going to 10 15 20 garage sales in a day you can't be early for all of them so I want to get into this routine of getting up early on a Saturday morning and if there's some local ones, sure, focus on them if there's nothing in Warwick. But like today, there was three. Three I could see online. Boom, boom, boom. So I'll go to those. Okay, where did she say? Some church near Silly Sollies. So I'll go up this way and we'll have a look. If not, I can just drive around and 
do some freestyle and see if I find because not everyone posts on Facebook Marketplace other people rely on other means to do it do, do, there we go that was nice and easy not to say it's going to be anything good but oh, come on why is everyone going to come now First park, I'll take it. I'm quite open here, mate. Okay, oh, I've only just heard about it. I'll, I'll get all sanitised and everything. Well, that's good, it's not even open yet. Also grab one of your tubs. They're very poorly packed in there. It's not as much as it looks. <laughs> okay, I got a price. Dollar each. Dollar each for your clothes. Yeah. We want to guess how many's in there. <laughs> oh no, it's all there's stuff underneath. I can. Oh, stuff underneath. Yeah, like I said, it's very poorly packed under there. So I just found a tub. Like it's your tub, so. I'll... Um, there's all the clothes. And there's the other stuff at the bottom. <laughs> DVDs, yeah. Um, we've got this doll, this doll, three VHS, a Shem Wow, um, and one, two, three, four. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine what, articles what, of clothing, what, and then twenty bucks for the whole lot. Awesome. Yeah. Would you take the tote with it, or? Yeah, yeah. Take okay, the tote. awesome. Okay, I'll remove all these coat hangers for you. Well, you can take the coat hangers too. Oh, okay. Yeah, take the coat. Hangers. You got me. I always need coat hangers. Yeah, I'll, I'll be back. I'll, uh, I thought I'd just get out of the car and then, yeah, okay. then have a better look around. All right.
Okay, I've got a special treat for my American viewers today. I'm going to do something very Aussie. The Bunnings Sausage and Bread. This is as Aussie as it gets. Good, thanks. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing okay. I'll get myself a sausage and bread, please. You can. Do you want onion with them? Ah, yes, please. Yeah, sure. Just doing a bit of a juggling act. Yeah? That's all right. This is what I have left. Oh, I'm filming this for my American friends just to show them that this is as Aussie as you can get. Oh, definitely. Get it, getting the um, sausage and bread at, at Bunnings on a you Saturday morning. Uh, I'll get some barbecue, please. All right, it's two dollars fifty, though. It's a pity they didn't have a smell sensor. Hey. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thanking you. See you. See you. There we go. That's as Aussie as it gets. Two dollars fifty at Bunnings. You have to put the onions under the bread now because there, <laughs> there was a famous instant. Where um someone fell on them. Here I am at the Endeavour facility in Warwick, like like the dump shop like ours. Never been here. Okay, so it's the day after I've been to Warwick and all that. I thought I'd just go through a quick look at all the, yeah, from the op shops. There was the yard, the uh, church sale, the other garage sales and all that. I think I covered most of them in previous videos. But yeah, like the church sale, these, they pretty much priced everything almost a dollar. So a Sony original CD Walkman, a TIAC, and no idea what that brand one is. 
but they seem to sell pretty well, so well worth picking them up. I just like the retro look of this Hanamax camera bag, and if someone's got like an old Hanamax camera, they want to put the original, like put back in an original bag, that's kind of cool. Uh, this I found at the Warwick Dump Shop. Um, too low, oh no, not too low, Rocksteady Crew, ready for battle. Um, the only one I could find, I think it was some European country, someone had sold one for around $60, so I've already put that on, and I've got a high hopes for that. Uh, this has also been listed right away. It's a Western Digital TV DVD media complete with the remote. The remote itself sells for about $20 to $25. Um, that was $10 at Vinnie's, and I think I got it listed for about $75, but I'll see how I go. This one here could be either a very good buy or a pretty average buy. It was within the um, stuff that I got at the dump shop. Um, I'm not too sure what's been like... That one's obviously been open. Some of them have still got tape on. The black one is completely sealed. So hopefully that alone there will more than pay for it. But um, yeah, the CLP P300Cs, like they seem to comp out very well. So um, worth a gamble. This game was $2. I think it's original 19... Is it 82? 81? Yeah, 81. So an original tip at the game for $2. I thought that's well worth a try. Um, these, I don't know what, what I can say or call it or anything like that. They're actually illegal to sell on eBay and all that, but he was a dollar. So I thought I'd grab him. Just, um, yeah, we'll see. But obviously there's issues with that. Raggedy Ann doll. Looks like an original type one. Once again, that was a dollar at the church sale. And over here, all the clothes are a dollar there. So I got a whole heap of these are the gems. An R.M. Williams 3XL shirt. Like, someone would have paid big money for that. And it is minty fresh. And this thing here, I tried to look at the brand, Miro Maropa. But it's like a leather jacket. Like, it's a very nice, solid, like, all these you know, zips and buckles and all that. Like, it's, it's a very well-made piece. Um, so, hopefully, just... On look alone, it'll be something that'll gain interest on Depop. Net material only. Just some more information about the item there. It's a really old tag, so this is an old leather jacket, 100% leather. So yeah, that's that's awesome. And this, I'm going to have to really dig through and and comp it well and try to figure out what I've got. This was eight dollars for this box as well. But in here is AFX. Oh, there goes the shirt. AFX slot car. It's a whole heap of the track and it might have fallen to the bottom, but I know in store I did find at least one car. So and I know um, the cars at least sell for a little bit by themselves, even if everything else here is not worth a cent. Uh, that should at least get me my money back. But this, that's probably the cream of the crop. I've just been here trying to work through it all get it all tidy try to this is like we've got the sorting area here so this is moderately clean compared to how it's been lately so just working my way through it still working through these are videos that we got for free at a shop that's another thing we got from that sale was a john deere pillow i got um that's the rest of the clothes from there this is a, a big giant Fremantle dockers um blanky so i thought that was well worth it for a dollar uh, not much else to show you is out here just working through it um and yeah carmen's gonna be home very oh and i forgot i got the esky as well at the church sale which i need another rescue like a hole in the head but i got one and i can hear the dogs barking so uh, i might start we're gonna work on the yard a little bit today and hopefully she comes back with some apple stuff for these guys i can hear the doggies oh here we go what are you up to dodger yesterday was a special day wasn't it dodger yeah we call it a family day so it was two years ago yesterday that dodger's been with us so that's his family day we call it we went and picked him up from texas with my mum and she was not very happy and in the video she was still sitting there very cranky his tiger too but yes yeah, so that's two years that he's been with us in the video is called badger he hadn't given me his, his name yet 
They called him Badger, but we didn't like that name, so he's our dodgy. You a good boy? Yeah. Okay. You say goodbye, Tiger? No, not going anywhere. Say goodbye.